Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Today's video is a challenge. Not only is it a challenge, it is a 28 day challenge, y'all. Not only is it a 28 day challenge, it is a fitness challenge. So two things I have never done. I've never challenged myself for 28 days, and I've never done a fitness related video on my channel. Well, today, your luck. Today, like I said, I'm doing a 28 day get fit with me challenge. So for 28 days, I'm gonna be working out all 28 days. Not only am I gonna be working out, but my best friend, Brynn, who you guys have seen in many videos, is also doing this challenge with me. So she'll be popping in from time to time to give you guys her thoughts, her updates, and what she's doing in this journey as well. So today is day one. Today is February 1st, 2019, and I am so, 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 so excited. I'm really excited to see how this challenge, how this journey, how this process goes. And so throughout the 28 days, I'll be vlogging bits and pieces to show you guys my highs, my lows, my ups, my downs. All that good stuff so with that being said today i'm really excited really pumped really optimistic because it is day one we'll see if this attitude continues throughout the rest of the journey so let's get started okay guys it is february 2nd we're in friend's car listening to music we just went shopping today is only day two of this like fitness journey if that's what you want to call it i don't really know what to call it because it's not like a diet sort of a thing but it's getting fit, I guess, for 28 days, or at least attempted to. Anyway, Brent, how has your day two been today? Been Mine's been hard. So I'm sore. I'm so my floor. one workout for 16 minutes. <laughs> yeah, so we I we haven't worked out since like sorry for your eyes. Okay, we're both active people, but we do not work out every single day, which is why this is a challenge. We both walk a ton, both of our jobs, but we don't like make an effort to, like work out every single day which is why this is a challenge so i'm doing this um like youtube workout and brin is doing the nike training workout and you really like it right brin yeah i like it like yeah yeah so brin has the app i'm just doing youtube videos but i haven't really found an app yet anyway the app. i'll give the app we're both super sore where are you sore brin just my like I'm sore in my abs. I did abs yesterday. I did. And you did legs. Oh, well, not even legs. It was just most. Well, my arms a little bit. It was mostly like lunges, and squats, and Some more full body. I focus on abs. Today we haven't worked out yet. Um, I'm gonna go to yoga land. I don't know what Brynn's gonna do. Right now we're gonna go get lunch though. We're gonna go to a place in our hometown, and we're gonna get some sandwiches because that's pretty healthy. So that's good. But today's been a struggle because I've wanted so much junk food today. And I haven't had any of it, well, so that's good. Target. Yeah, we went to Target, and we were looking at like the cupcakes and cookies and all that, and we were like, walk away, walk away, we're good. We're gonna try to make it until Valentine's Day when we both go out, and that will be our first splurge day. So well, you're lucky anyway. I like stare at them every day. She has stared at them every day, I, I don't. Past. I walk past them every day. But still, it's, it's been a struggle today. So anyway, this is my first update and check-in. We're both feeling good, both feeling sore. We're starving, but we're gonna keep going because we are gonna freaking do this! Woo! Today is day five of my fitness journey, and today we are in my kitchen. So, welcome. We are in my kitchen because today I went grocery shopping at Walmart, and I wanted to show you guys what I picked up for snacks slash meals because not only is working out every day super important for your body and getting healthy and staying fit, what you put into your body is equally or if a little bit more important so i wanted to show you guys my grocery haul and just kind of go over what i got and what i'm going to be eating that way if you guys need any recommendations or you guys are stuck in the rut of eating the same thing and you want to switch up what you eat a little bit then maybe this can uh, help you so the first thing that i got are these organic acai bowl mixes this is what the packaging looks like so what you do with this is you take out the package and you thaw it for one to two minutes and then you put in your fruit, you put in your bananas, your blueberries, strawberries, whatever you like, um, a little bit of water, mix it all up and you make your yummy acai bowl like it shows right on the packaging. So they're super easy, super quick and a really healthy alternative for breakfast. For my breakfast, I like to keep it light and simple because I'm not a huge breakfast person. So this is really, really good for just a quick, easy, simple, out the door sort of breakfast. Now to go along with that, I also love to put granola in my acai bowls. So I got the Nature Valley Granola Protein Dark Chocolate. 
So this is what the packaging looks like. Also go with a quick, easy outdoor breakfast or a snack. Honestly, I love these so delicious dairy-free coconut yogurts. I got the one that is blueberry, and then I also got the strawberry banana. So this is what the packaging looks like. So I really, really like these yogurts because I am dairy-free. I try to be as dairy-free as I can. I'm not a huge like milk cheese person anyway, or yogurt person, honestly, but these have really changed the game for me because they are a dairy-free option and they taste really good. So I will have these in the morning as a little morning snack or in the afternoon. I can just take these to the gym with me for after or on my way to work or whatever. So these are really good. They're not a lot of calories. They are 140 calories for the container and they have one gram of protein, which I mean, not a whole lot, but they are a really good substitute for dairy if you really do like dairy, but you're trying to cut it out. I would highly, highly recommend. Next thing I have honestly loved for years, I recommend them to everyone, are these Power Crunch protein bars. They are 13 grams of protein and five grams of sugar, which is fantastic. This is what the mini box looks like. So these bars only have five or six in them. Yeah, five bars in these. You can buy a bigger pack that has like 20 bars. It's a little bit more expensive, but I saw these at Walmart yesterday and so I picked it up because that's all I had. But these Power Crunch, hello, can you focus? There we go, are so good. I will have these for a snack in the middle of the day. I will have them for breakfast and one bar will make me full. Like I don't even need this snack if I have it for a meal. If I do have it for a snack, if I didn't have lunch, if I didn't have breakfast, it will keep me full until the next meal. These are fantastic. And they are chocolate, which is odd because I don't really love chocolate. But honestly, this chocolate is to die for. I love it these are so good they are such a healthy alternative and i definitely would recommend power crunch bars to anyone they have chocolate vanilla strawberry strawberry caramel i think anyway these are so good and i really really i really can't say good enough things about these now moving on another thing that i so wear by and this is the only really dairy that i will consume are these dan active probiotic immune system drinks this is what they look like strawberry and blueberry is what i picked up if y'all are getting sick this is gonna be your best friend you just take one of these little guys out you drink them really anytime during the day and i swear to you i swear these knock out my cold like that i'm not the kind of person that takes like medicine or any of that sort of thing just i'm not that kind of girl i should but i really don't i swear those you take one of these Bam, you're done. You're feeling 100% the next day. You're ready to go. When I feel myself getting sick, like I am right now, I can already feel my body kind of getting a little woozy and a little weak. I will drink one of these and I'll be right back in it. So anyway, if you guys need a quick, easy probiotic, I swear to you, these are so, so good and they are so inexpensive. And I, I swear by them, like I'll take it and I will feel 100% better. So highly recommend Dan Active. I've been loving these for years. That being said, those are all my snacks and my goods and my meals that I will be enjoying for the next couple of weeks. I'm trying to be as healthy as I can. Yes, there is some dairy in certain things and yes, maybe some of the stuff is like goober, 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 like healthy, but you know what? I'm making a conscious effort to feed my body the best that I think is suitable. So anyway, that is my haul and that's what I'm gonna be, you know, snacking on and eating for um, the duration of the 28 day fitness journey. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys and I will see you guys in the next check-in which will probably be in a couple days. Mwah. I know the lighting is absolutely terrible right now. Right now it is day seven of my 28 day get fit journey with me. And it is a quarter to eight at night right now and I'm in a Chick-fil-A drive through y'all. I love Chick-fil-A. I don't have it all the time, but it definitely is one of my guilty pleasures. I love Chick-fil-A. Anyway, I wanted to hop on because I wanted this video and this vlog to just be as real and authentic as possible. I didn't want to hide anything from you guys. This morning I had a breakfast shake and for lunch I had an acai bowl. And tonight I'm going to cheat and I'm going to have some Chick-fil-A. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. If you guys are on a quote-unquote diet right now, or if you guys are just trying to get fit and healthy with me, I want you guys to know that every once in a while, it's okay to have a cheat day. It's okay to have a cheat meal because everything's good in moderation for you. Obviously, getting fast food every single day is not good. 
but honestly it's one meal and I worked out this morning and I'll work out again tomorrow and I just wanted to show this whole process I want this video just to be as real and raw as I possibly can and yeah if I'm gonna eat out a couple times then I'm gonna eat out a couple times and if I'm not then I'm not but I just wanted to just show you guys that this is real life and you know sometimes like today I didn't pack a lunch it's quarter to eight and I'm starving and chick fil was the closest thing so I just wanted to I just wanted to hop on here and just let you guys know that you know don't be too hard on yourself I'm not gonna be too hard on myself tonight I almost didn't come because I was like no you're trying to like be so healthy and you know what is this gonna you know do to your body and you know what it doesn't it doesn't matter I'm gonna work out in the morning and I work out today and I'm gonna enjoy my meal because I'm a real human being and I enjoy Chick-fil-A every once in a while and it is absolutely okay to splurge and enjoy something so anyway I just wanted to hop on here and just let you guys know that that's where I'm at today is day 15 of the get fit with me journey and today is officially halfway through this journey and I really 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 love it now there have been some hard days where I do not want to go to spin class or yoga or even work out at home but I've been really proud of myself that I've just pushed myself to do this every single day because always every time after I work out, I feel so much better. Not only do I physically feel stronger at this point, I mentally feel a lot stronger as well. So anyway, in this clip, I'm going to show you guys some of my workout routine that I do. It's not my full routine. It's just some of the moves and some of the workouts that I do when I'm at home and I'm doing a home workout. So with that being said, let's get into it. which is 
awesome and I really do love working out. I have signed up for a monthly subscription to my spin class near me so I can go and I can go do spin classes twice a week and I can still go do my hot yoga or my flow yoga and I can also work out at home. So I'm so 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 excited to work out and I'm so like just proud that me and my friend Brynn did this together. It just has been such a fun last 28 days and it was good to get out of my comfort zone and try something new and learn that I actually do really like working out. Now, going forward, since this challenge is not over, I don't think that I'm going to work out every single day, but if I can do like four to five days a week and take a couple days off, I think that's going to be right where I need to be because working out every single day, as much as I did enjoy it, there are just some days where I just really just want to take a break from working out. So I think if I can work out Monday through Friday and take the weekend off, I think for me, personally, work out so good. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope it challenges you guys to get out there and work out and find a workout buddy and to challenge yourself and all that good stuff. And that's the video, and I am so, 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 so happy and excited that I filmed this, and I hope that it, it uh, that it encourages you guys. Okay. Mwah.